We the people, in order to form a more perfect union. Remember the words upon the page, history stage awaits. America the beautiful, raining down from above in the haze of neon colors encapsulating the clouds, reverberating off your ribcage as your heart hammers to hear the sounds of happiness. The Washington Monument looms in the multicolored darkness, begins to remember why we are celebrating under the stars. America the beautiful. America the flawed, yes, of course, but sit back and remember that it is America you are so quick to criticize and expose the lies and recommend in your living room the solutions to pollution and the war. What are we fighting for? We're fighting for the stars and the stripes, for the freedom to gripe about the president and his cabinet. You'd never take a stab at it, but you can commentate on the policies and fallacies, post your opinion on your Facebook status, will a few in the proud do what really matters. It's your First Amendment right, freedom of speech. Well, listen to what I preach. Whenever you sit around and clown and point your finger at the leaders of the nation, remember why you're allowed to spout that statement. Remember that the people whose coffin is draped with the flag gave you the right to burn the flag. And remember that you are nothing without them. And keep in mind, as you sit inside, there's people in the desert willing to die for what you believe. And if you can conceive what I'm talking about, Think a soldier, a sailor, an airman, a marine, and the next time you feel like going off on a tangent, I'm not going to have it. Remember these words, and remember why America the Beautiful is the country that allows you to call her America the Ugly and get away with it. What I'm trying to say is, every time you want to point out what is wrong with America, you're pointing out what is right with America. The fact that someone isn't breaking into your living room and scooping you off into the night, no, you get to sit and watch fireworks breathe down around you. So remember, on the 4th of July, the people die so you and I can disagree.